You know, I was trying my best this week to think of good things. And it's really hard in this time and this era we live in with inflation and, and all the, the problems going around the world. It's hard to think of good things. But I know the Bible tells me to think of what is true and holy and righteous. So I'm trying my best. And, and this thought came to me, you know, have you ever gotten a good thing but in the wrong package? It, it was a good thing that you got, but the delivery was all off. Like, imagine I, I, I said to you, I was, you know, I was just at Tim Hortons and, and I, I thought of you. I, I got you a cookie. And when I pulled that cookie out, I, I pulled it out of a bag like this. And, and I said, I, here, here, here's your cookie. Eh, I think you might not want that one. Or what if I told you that I wrote you a letter? I mean, uh, yeah, I wrote you a letter. It's, it's handwritten by me. And, and when I got it out, it was, it was like that. These are good things that we have, but given in the wrong method of delivery, it kind of makes somebody reluctant to receive that good thing. You know, in Ephesians 4, uh, 15, it says this, instead speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head that is Christ. You know, I want to just be vulnerable with you for a second. As a pastor, I have done this at my worst. I have told somebody the truth without having any love. I know that the truth is the truth and I'm, I see this person, they're living in the wrong way or they're doing the wrong thing and I, and I have so much motivation because I, I care for them to just tell them the truth. And when I go and I tell them the truth, I do it with no love. Or maybe there's times where, in, you know what, I'm not perfect. I, in, not, maybe not my pastoral life, but in my personal life, I want to tell somebody the truth, not because I want them to know the truth, but because I want them to know I'm right and they're wrong. It's all about telling somebody the truth. And and Christians, we're supposed to be telling people the truth. Preach the truth. Preach the gospel. Preach Jesus as Lord. But if we do it without love, then it's a very hard good, or it's it's a very hard thing for somebody to receive. I think of, you know, the adulterous woman who's who's brought in front of Jesus. and, And in a moment, Everyone has got the condemnation. They know the truth. She should be stoned to death. And Jesus doesn't forsake truth. Let me point that out. He never forsakes truth, but he always wraps truth in a package of love. When this adulterous woman is put in front of him, he he knows that she's done wrong, so he tells her, go and sin no more. But before he ever did that, he gave her identity. He forgave her. He, He made her loved before he gave the truth. And, and there's, you know, there's countless other stories, but I'll give you another one. What about the Samaritan woman at the well? I mean, Jesus tells her the truth. You've had five husbands, and the one you're with is not the one that is your husband. And, and, and she doesn't take this truth the wrong way. She actually takes this truth and receives it. She, she loves it so much, she goes back all the way to her town and tells everyone about the man who knows everything about her. It's one thing to tell somebody the truth, it's a whole other thing to tell somebody the truth in love. And, and so I, I thought to myself, how can I, how can I, just n- not you for a sec, just me, uh, as a pastor, as a man of God, as a husband, as a father now, how can I deliver the truth in love? And I don't know if you're like this. I'm not a big hugger. I don't like to give hugs. But as I was preparing this little devotional, the Holy Spirit gave me the acronym HUG. And I want to give it to you tonight. Any time that you need to speak the truth in love, before you do it, you must give them a spiritual hug. What does it mean? H stands for humility. You've got to admit to yourself that you don't have all the answers. You don't know all the truth. You don't know their situation like how maybe you think you do. And if you come with an attitude of humility, maybe, just maybe, that delivery does something a little different. You've got to have unity in mind when you, when you want to have a, a, a harsh conversation, a difficult conversation. I'm not telling somebody the truth so we can be divided. I'm telling somebody the truth because I care for them and I love them, and I want this truth to unify us both. And last, you've got to be gentle. This was really hard for me because a lot of the times, you know, I, I know the truth. I know what's right. I know that Jesus says this, and, and we're not supposed to do that, but I didn't come with gentleness. And I learned that gentleness is often me just putting myself in somebody else's shoes. What would it be like if I had to live in their circumstance or if I had to deal with their their situation? And I just started putting myself in their shoes and realizing, oh, you know what? I'm not excusing the mistakes. I'm not excusing the lies. But I can see how you maybe came to that conclusion. But when I deliver the truth with a hug first, often it's been received very well. 
My prayer for you tonight is simple. I want you to be able to deliver the truth in love. I'm working on this. I'm never going to be perfect at it, and I don't think you are either. But our, our attitude is not supposed to be, can we just do it perfectly all the time? But it should be, we're working in faith together to have humility because we humble ourselves before the Lord, to have unity because we, we want to be brothers and sisters in the Lord, and with gentleness because Jesus was always gentle. So I want to pray for you today if you have a harsh conversation, a difficult conversation, a hard conversation to have this week. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for anyone who is just not looking forward to speaking the truth. It's not easy, it's tough, but you can give us the power of the Holy Spirit. You can give us the power to have humility, to to strive for unity, to strive to be gentle. And Lord, we don't want to forsake the truth, so let us be bold about proclaiming it, but let us do it how you did it. Speak the truth in love. May you give us the power to have these conversations in Jesus' name.